My daughter was born on September 1st, 2004. From the moment she was born, I noticed a uniqueness to her. Two years ago, I lost my husband in a horrible car accident, and having to raise my daughter on my own has been strange for both of us. She's always behaved differently, especially towards new people that she's never even met before. Her extreme kindness towards others sometimes made me worry about whether she would be able to handle the negativity that is bound to come from others around her. But I knew that she would eventually have some experiences that would show that being different isn't a bad thing. I could always see the impact she left on the people around her. She taught the people around her that being different was okay, regardless of what one believes. You want some? You want something to eat? No, Mom. I have to do some homework. Actually, can you bring me down some cake? If you want cake, you can come out and get it yourself. Maybe when I'm done doing my homework, Mom. My favorite. Next time I get my own, this one's too messy. <laughs> there you go, kiddo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. All right. Don't forget to brush your teeth, huh, kiddo? Okay. Okay? Good night, sweetie. Good night.
Emily. Hi, Janice. Hey, Jen. Here's your first stop, 1624 Woolman. What's the address? 16... 1624 Woolman? Okay. His name is Kreisen. Uh, make sure to get there on time. Uh, client's name? Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hi, it's me again. So your next stop is 1281 Philip Avenue. Okay, yeah, let me just grab my pen here. Johnson. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Thanks. Bye.
Mom, Mom, do you see that man? I've seen him before. That man over there. I've seen him before. Can I give him a banana? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sweetie baby!
Okay? I'm fine. Hey, Sandy, it's Janet. Hi, Janet. I'm good, how are you? Yeah. Never guess who we ran into today. Cindy. Oh. Yeah. No, I know. Apparently we go to the same grocery store. I know. <laughs> oh, you saw them today. Oh, that's great. How is she doing? Yeah, no, it's, we just got in. We had dinner out. I just did not have it in me to cook tonight. No. What about you? No. Ooh, what'd you guys have? Very nice. All right, Sandy, I'm gonna let you go. All right, have a good night. Bye bye. Mom, was that Sandy you were talking with? Yeah, sweetie. Well, I don't want you to think I'm weird, but this afternoon we were talking with that lady and her son. Yeah, um, Sandy's neighbor, Cindy. What? Uh, well, what's that? What's the thing about her son? Okay. What about him? I had a vision of him drowning in a swimming pool. Um, you know, sweetie, it's been, uh, it's been kind of a long day, huh? Why don't, uh, why don't you go start getting ready for bed with your PJs on and stuff, huh?
Okay, where's your ball? It's by the pool. Now, you know you can't swim, so stay away from the water, please. Okay. Uh, Emily? Emma? I almost forgot. Cindy asked us to go swimming. Swimming? I love swimming. I know. Go get your stuff. Where's that swimming suit? Uh, should be with your summer stuff under the bed. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mom. Oh, I should take a forecast. Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Um, I got my new swimsuit. Oh, uh, you know what? Honey, the weather's not looking great. Um, you know, I think I'm going to call Cindy and see if they're still going ahead. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't want you to get sick or anything. Okay. Okay, give me, give me a few minutes. I was going to call you. Listen. Hi, Janet. Hey, Sandy. How are you? So I was thinking, I was at work today, and there's this great guy. I know, I know. No, but he's so nice, and it would be great for you to get out again. Uh-huh. Just think about it. Oh, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that, Sandy. I don't, like, what about Emily? I'll watch Emily so you can go out. Okay. Okay, let me set it all up for you. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. I'll, I'll give it a try. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Sandy. Okay. All right, 
Okay, don't have fun with Sandy. Okay, I will. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck, Mom. Bye. Bye. Are you George, by any chance? Well, I am if you're Janet. So how was your date? It wasn't really a date, okay? We were just chatting and getting to know each other a little bit. I can tell that he likes you. Is that what you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's not so bad being able to get into people's heads. Did he ask about me? As a matter of fact, he did. Uh, I, of course, told him you're the world to me. <laughs> Emily, here, try to holler and ask you in the morning. Use my mobile alarm clock, okay? You know how to set it, right? Yep. Alright, alright. Good night, kiddo. Good night.
Oh, uh, I almost forgot. George asked us if he could take us for dinner. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let him know. I don't know about you guys, I'm thinking starter. It sounds like that. Soup. Yeah? Definitely thinking soup. <laughs> you eat here a lot? Yeah, your soup is amazing. Okay. Soup, huh? What kind of soup? Well, like I said, like I want to try your soup sometime, but you got to try this soup. Because <laughs> this is the soup. Okay. The soup. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys, now, now I know you like soup, but this is, okay, I just, Imagine you have a bowl, and in that bowl, you pour like a unicorn <laughs> and a rainbow, and I don't even know. That is, it's, that, it's, that's quite. I don't know what they put what in the soup. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Well, you know, I actually make a really nice soup at home. Like a lentil, if there is lentil, it's vegetable. Usually put a little bit of beef in there. It's really good. Em um, Emily likes it. Mm -hmm. Uh, could we get some water as well? Oh, ha. awesome, read right my mind. Thank you. <sighs> well, I'm getting really hungry. The soup better be worth it. It's worth it. All right, well, let's try the soup. Let's, let's try this out. Okay. Good. Yeah, well, this guy has been raving about the soup, so I guess soups all around? Yeah? Okay. So, yeah. Sounds so? good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, this better be worth it. Oh, trust me. Okay. Oh, hey. There you go. Hey, you Wow. It does look really good. Mm. Great, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Hey, I hope you two are sitting down. Because this soup, it's gonna knock you flat. Bye, Emily. Bye. So, what would you think about uh, spending some time with George at the park tomorrow? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be too bad. No? He's been asking about you, so it'd be nice if we could spend some time together and... I don't know, I'd, I'd like him to get to know you. I mean, you're... <laughs> it seems silly for me to be spending time with him if you're not involved. Well, do you want to go? Yeah, I think I do. As long as you're good with it. 
people, if you want to go, then sure, why not? <laughs> okay. All right. I'll let them know that we're game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hey. Hey. So this is your fun. place, right? Huh? Yep. That's the one. Nice area. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. But you know what's better? The park. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it.
Em, do you want anything? No, I'm good. Thanks, though. Okay, we'll come out here for a sec. <laughs> So, what do you think, Jeff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was good? <laughs> good. Well, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe we can get together with him again soon sometime, you think? Time? Yeah. Good. My birthday's in two days. Seriously? Who forgets their own birthday? <laughs> now don't forget to brush your teeth. I did, Mom. Good night. Good night. So once you get here, you get everything ready and I'm sure we can sell a lot of it. Well, my mom says that people don't usually spend their money on lemonade, especially if they see kids my age selling them. Your mom's wrong. She just probably never tried it when she was our age. Just come down. I'm sure we can sell a lot of it. Okay, I'll be there shortly. So, how much sugar do you think we'll need to add? <laughs> Well, it can never be too sweet. That seems about good. That's good. Let's try it. Here. Try it. So, what do you think? It tastes so good that even if we can't sell it, we can just drink it without having to pay for it. <laughs> well, the plan is to sell it, not to drink it. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. Oh, you want to go? What is this? We're selling lemonade. How much? A dollar. Pour me a glass. Very good. I'm not paying for it. If you didn't like it, why'd you have a psych glass? 
I thought it'd get better, but I was wrong. Did you forget something? And I forgot something. drinking your lemonade and then he wouldn't pay for it. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, I'm sick. But then George came along. Okay. And he helped it and he made the boy pay for the lemonade. Oh, thank you, George. That's really sweet of you. But then I was holding some lemonade and I by accidentally spilled it on the mean boy's pants. <laughs> oh, and no. I think he got really embarrassed. Yeah, probably. I know it kind of sounds like he deserved it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> At least it was an accident, right, babe? Yeah. Okay. But if it wasn't for George, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Thank you. I'm glad you were there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Got some good lemonade out of the deal. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Free drinks for some hero work. It works out well. <laughs> okay. You do have to read it. You're going to read it. Okay. But it's time for that, all right, kiddo? Okay. Okay. Here, take it. Hi, Mom. <laughs> good night, kiddo. Bye, George. Good night. George, you want anything to drink? No, I'm good, thanks. You sure? tomorrow? Yeah. Actually, I work pretty early, so I should probably leave soon. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for dinner, though. Mm. It was delicious. Oh, we had a lot of fun. What about you? Do you, um, do you work tomorrow? No. Well, yeah, actually. <laughs> I do. I've got lost track of my days. Uh, right. Saturday's my day off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had so much fun tonight, though, seriously. It was good, yeah. <laughs> Well, better than restaurant dinner. Oh my god. That was, I ruined your night. You I'm did sorry. not, it was, I'm sorry to laugh so much, but it was hilarious. It, we had so much fun. I hope you're not talking about when I got souped and fell down. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it was hilarious. It was so fun though. It, so Emily had a blast, it was great. As long as Emily had a blast. Yeah, well, it's, it's anything for a good story, right? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. Yeah. Oh. Mm. No. You could stay tonight if you wanted. Thank you.
Um, you want some blueberries? I've got some. No, I'm good, thank you. You sure that's all you want? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi, George. I was worried about you. Is everything all right? Yeah. No, things have been going really well. What happened with this woman? Do you like her? I really love her. In fact, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask her to marry me. You understand she has a kid. Hmm. Yeah, I know she has a kid, but... That's fine, I like the kid too. Well, it is your life, and whatever decision you make in your life, I wish you the best. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you go, but don't forget to send pictures now. Bye. Sorry to bother you, but you got uh, one last place to go before heading home. You've got to be kidding me. It's five o'clock already. I know. Emily's going to be by herself. I... I know. Jen, come on, it's my birthday. I know. Happy birthday. Okay, it's just, it's just one. Only one. It'll be quick, you promise. All right, fine. I'll see the address. Her name is Mrs. Ann. Mrs. Ann? So, yeah, all right. You owe me for this big time. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Bye. Yeah.
man, it's Janet from the hospital. Cute little way to invite you over. Happy birthday, Mama! Oh, happy birthday, sweetie. Mm. Thank you, guys. It's too tight. <laughs> well, I guess I can put my stuff away. I'm not working now. I'm <laughs> I get the night off. I booked you. You, I'm booked. You guys are the right. sweetest. Thank you so much. Right, let's get some cake inside of you. <laughs> okay. Hey, George. Hey, uh, let me guess. You're just getting in the car. <laughs> I am in the car, actually. I'm just about to head out. How's it going? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so listen. Yeah? <laughs> you should marry me. Well, <laughs> are you serious? That's, uh, that, uh, <laughs> That that's it's kind of it's kind of soon, isn't it? Is it? I mean, it's wow. Um, I mean, that's a that's a <laughs> huge, huge decision, George. Uh, I mean, I've got I've got Emily to think about. Uh, wow, you you've kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> um, listen, I'll. Uh, I, I I really I actually really have to run, but um, I'll I, I've I've got to think about this. Okay. I'll I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, I'll think about it. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. -bye. Mom. Hey. How was your day? Oh, as good as yours. <laughs> good. 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 So, did George ask you to marry him? Wait, what? You, uh, what are you talking about? I had a dream again. Okay, about what? Well, you were in a white dress, and George was there, and you were both standing in the church. <laughs> Okay, uh, what, did, did, did I look happy? He looked happy and gorgeous. Wow. Um, well this, um, this gift of yours is kind of, it's really precious, <laughs> isn't it? So did you say yes? Uh, no, not, not yet. Anyway, I needed to talk to you. It's, it's, it's a big decision. It's, I mean, it, I don't know. It seems kind of soon. Well, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. And I'm sure dad would be happy too. Okay.
You probably got some decent stuff here. Happy birthday to you. George will be here soon. And we can start having a little fun here. Oh man, you know what this party needs? What does this party need? More guests! <gasps> hey! Oh, oh my god! Happy what do you think, Al? <laughs> What do you think, Em? What do you want to call him? I'm going to call him Oliver. I like it. It's so cute. Oliver! Come on, little bot. Guy, get your new mommy. Oh, you hear that? Hey, Oliver, come here. Come here, little guy. All right, we're at the bakery. Go, are you going to come in? Uh, no, I'll just stay here with Oliver. Okay. Oh, hey, do you want me to leave the radio? Yes, yep. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, Oliver, sit right here. Good boy. Well, yeah, in California, uh, one organ donor can save up to five to eight lives. Uh, the San Diego Organ Donor Registry is the official registry of your wishes in regarding organ donation. For uh, more information, uh, you can visit our office on Johnson Street. I was th Emily! Honey, what are you doing? So I'm, I'm cutting my hair for kids that have cancer. Oh my gosh, honey, you... <laughs> you really didn't have to do that. <laughs> but I wanted to. Oh, sweetheart. You really should have talked to me about this first, okay? Honestly, I'm so proud of you for choosing to do something like that. Yeah, those scissors. I'll help you out with the rest, okay, honey? Now, in the future, if you get any bright ideas like this one, no matter how sweet and where your heart's from, it's a good idea to really, really think about it and talk to an adult because you want to make sure that every decision is a good one. I think it's a good decision. Well, hmm. me too.
What are you doing? Hey, what is going on here? He's faking. He's not actually blind. Hey, I'm sorry. I got a lot of financial pressures and I thought this would be the best way to make life a little less difficult than it already is. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're kidding me? I could call the cops. What, are, what is wrong with you? So you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. And I should call it. I can see your daughter's a real angel. Thank you. Okay, look. This is my office number at the hospital. Okay. I might be able to help you find work. Give, give me a call, all right? I'm a free man. Well, I hope he calls me. I really do think I can help. He won't. Because he's dead.
Hey, are you okay? Hey, get that water. Give it to me. Sandy, hi. It's it's Janet. Is Emily still there? Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> There's a little girl in this church today, but not everyone in this world had a privilege to get to know her. Her life is short, yet the way she reached into people's mind and body made her to be well known as Emily, a pioneer, a role model, spirit in a body that the world will never experience again. One of the amazing things that I know about her, among the other qualities, was a sense of giving that it only takes to be superhuman if you want to be in her level. But no, she was beyond human. She was God in human's body. The letter she wrote to her mother, which was part of the gift she had knowing she's not going to be among us for long, is something out of ordinary, which I'm going to read for you today. Dear Mom, Thank you for bringing me into this world, and thanks for everything you have done for me. One of the saddest things in my life was the day I lost my dad. I never told you, but he is sometimes in my dreams, so I don't feel so alone. I have been so worried about you being a single mom. So when George asked you to marry him, it was one of the happiest days of my life. Life is so unpredictable. You come into this world with desire to love and to be loved. When you have people you love around you, life feels complete. Life is so much more when we accept it as a gift. That is why my only request from you is if anything happens to me, is to donate my organs to kids who are in pain and patiently waiting for organ donors. Thank you. Love you so much. Love anyone.
Okay, I hope you're sitting down because this soup is gonna knock you flat. Okay, I hope you two are sitting down because this soup is gonna knock you flat. Both times I hit the edge every time. Okay, I hope you two are sitting down because this soup is gonna knock you flat. Why don't you three times in a row I hit there like there? Hit there. Well, Ronnie, you probably don't have to throw it so hard. Yeah, you could just probably drop it. It'll still splash. That's cool. You know? Even What's if you that? just even if you just kinda like drop it. Okay, I hope you two are sitting down because this soup is gonna knock you flat. <laughs> Can I wear goggles? Okay, I hope you two are sitting down because this soup is gonna knock you flat. What happened to you? I didn't finish my line. <laughs> you were a little early with the cord. line. I thought you did. No, no, I was still like, still saying my line when you threw the cork. <laughs> it came, it came so early, I was a little, uh... Well, Dad, this guy's tired, let's go. Do not forget to go all the way. Yeah, 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 just remember to wait like a couple. Because are you, are you inserting him opening the cork after I say my oh, line? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, the you last, wait, so you can wait a that, few seconds. That's the last scene, so don't worry about that. 